amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on this Monday of the 13th week in ordinary time. We now are at July 1st. As we continue to ask the Lord of life to be with us, to give us courage and strength, let us not be afraid to ask for forgiveness, for we have sinned. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, three times for the crimes of for the three crimes of Israel and for four, I will not revoke my word. Because they sell the just man for silver and the poor man for a pair of sandals, they trample the heads of the weak into the dust of the earth and force the lowly out of the way. Son and father go to the same prostitute, profaning my holy name. Upon garments taken in pledge, they recline beside my altar. And the wine of those who have been fined, they drink in the house of their God. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorites before them, who were as tall as the cedars and as strong as the oak trees. I destroyed their fruit above and their roots beneath. It was I who brought you up from the land of Egypt, who led you through the desert for 40 years to occupy the land of the Amorites. Beware, I will crush you into the ground as a wagon crushes when laden with sheaves. Fight, flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong man shall not retain his strength. The warrior shall not save his life, nor the bowman stand his ground. The swift of foot shall not escape, nor the horseman save his life, and the most stout-hearted of warriors shall flee naked on that day, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Why do you recite my statues and profess my covenant with your mouth? though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. Remember this, you who never think of God. When you see a thief, you shall keep pace with him, and with adulterers you throw in your lot. To your mouth you give free rein for evil, you harness your tongue to deceit. Remember this, you who never think of God. You sit speaking against your brother, against your mother's sons you spread rumors. Why you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Remember this, you who never think of God. Consider this, you who forget God, lest I rend you and there be no one to rescue you. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and him that goes the right way I will show the salvation of God. Remember this, you who never think of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other side. A scribe approached him and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. Jesus answered him, Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I know I'm coming from to you from a very strange place. As many of you know that I have been traveling, or I will be traveling at this moment, I will be in Ireland. What's interesting is that I have to record these in order for everyone to be able to have the daily readings. And so I'm recording this on June 17th for July 1st. And I'm at the priest convocation. So I'm in a hotel room. And what's interesting um, is that you don't get to pick your rooms. They are assigned to us. And so we're at the Grand Geneva, which is very beautiful in Lake Geneva. We wanted to be at a place where we were far enough away from our parishes so we wouldn't be distracted by our parish work. And I was assigned to building number one. Well, building number one is on the far end of the resort. So I have to walk through five buildings in order to get to where the convention, the convocation and all the, the liturgies are, where the speakers are, where everything is at. And so when I first got that, I was very angry. And then I thought, well, you know, they're probably thinking, well, that fat butt could be able to walk and maybe it'll lose a little weight. But the room I got is beautiful. It's a suite. So unlike a lot of my other brother priests, I have a living room. I have this room, which is sort of like a place to play cards. And I have a bedroom. And I just feel like I am in the lap of luxury. And that's what's kind of funny is that what happens when something good like this happens to me? The Lord comes and he smacks me in the face. He says, the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And I am staying in this beautiful hotel room. But I think what's important for us to know is about the gospel. The gospel tells us of these people who have a desire to follow Jesus. But there's always a condition. The one man says, well, first let me go and bury my father. Now, of course, if you took it on the literal level, many people would say that Jesus was being downright inconsiderate. But the chances are his father had not died. You know, part of the Jewish tradition is that you took care of your parents until they died. So this man is saying to Jesus, well, I will come and follow you once my obligations are over. Now, nobody knows when that would be. And Jesus says, no, that's not good enough. I need you to follow me. Your response to me has to be immediate. It's not something I want in the future. It's something I want from you today. And so he says, let the dead bury the dead. Because Jesus is life. I think today the Lord is inviting you and I to take a look at our priorities. What are our priorities? Are our priorities the things of this world or are they of our spiritual life, of deepening our relationship with Jesus, of truly following Jesus? Today, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace that we may follow the Lord and that we may do so with an open heart a heart that loves, and may our response be immediate. And let us not wait for some condition to prevail. Gathering our needs and petitions, we bring them before our Heavenly Father's throne. For all bishops, may the example of Jesus inspire them in humble service for God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for nations engaged in conflict. May the Prince of Peace lead them to peaceful resolutions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today, Lord, for a greater respect, for the dignity, the sanctity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unhoused, may God provide resources for them to find a place to call home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our spiritual faith community, may our Heavenly Father bless our outreach efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, the lonely, the oppressed, for those who suffer from mental illness, for those who suffer from addictions for their healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the souls of the faithful departed. May they enjoy the eternal peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now unite these prayers into one and all of your prayers that you hold in the silence of your heart. We lift them up to our Heavenly Father and we pray, just as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Merciful Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Peace, look with kindness upon the petitions we bring to you this day. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray unto thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And let us turn now to our Blessed Mother and let us ask for her maternal protection and for her intercession for peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria.